my channel so today for you guys I have a Dollar Tree Easter DIY video these are going up super late because I thought Easter was still a while away and they're not and I was still contemplating if I was gonna upload this one or not but I decided to just upload it because otherwise it was just gonna be a waste of all these DIYs that I did and a side note if you're wondering about this if you follow me on Instagram you probably already know and saw my stories yesterday I had the worst congestion I've ever had in my life and yesterday was miserable I could not breathe in and breathe out at all nothing would even blow out of my nose but today is a little bit better and I put this strip on and it's feeling good and I don't want to take the strip off because if I do I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it all up so you get me like this I want to stress I'm not sick I have had really bad allergies for the past month and then the congestion had gotten just bad the past couple of days and I think it was because I had switched to a different nasal spray so I'm assuming that's why it is so I got off of it and then now it's starting to clear up a little bit better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, I'm sorry that this video is kind of going out late, but you don't have to do necessarily Easter themed things with the things that I'm showing you. You can change some of them around to match your decor all year round. There's actually something in this that is inspiring me to kind of maybe do like a ship lap Dollar Tree DIY video. So if you want to see that, let me know. So like the ship lap thing that I know people are really into right now with doing on their walls. Um, let me know if you guys want to see something like that. But like I said, it doesn't have to just be Easter. You could change things around like the little um, planter things that I did. You could just write a different word other than Easter words. Um, the other one was like this picture frame thing that I made. It doesn't have to be like Easter themed things. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video and I hope you guys are all doing well. For our first DIY, I'm using this love sign that I got at Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day. I take the heart off of it and then I painted it all white. Dollar Tree right now does have similar ones, but for Easter, I'm just using what I had on hand. After I have it painted white, I kind of do like a ship lap thing. So basically I take a black Sharpie and I go through the indents that are already inside of that board. I'm thinking about doing a ship lap themed DIY video. If you want to see that, let me know down in the comments below. The next thing I get is this bunny sign also from Dollar Tree and I am cutting off all three of the pieces. So I'll have the head and the two carrots as separate pieces. Next up, I figured out how I wanted them to be placed on top of this board and to attach them I ended up using double-sided foam tape. I didn't want to use hot glue because I wanted to reuse this board. After I had them placed, I decided I actually wanted to add something else, a little burlap bow. So I started removing things around to make space for the burlap bow and then I just liked it so much better. And that's how I made this little happy Easter sign. I really think this is cute and I'm saving it again for next year. Moving on to our next DIY. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up the three pack of these small little planters. So they come in three packs for a dollar. And what I did is I just painted all of them white. Next up, I take a pencil. And basically what I did was just look at Ray Dunn font. Just Google Ray Dunn font. And I used the pencil to just write the font down. If you have a Cricut, you probably already know. You could just print something out that already looks like it and use it that way. I've also shown so many times how to transfer printing paper onto a surface and use it to kind of get a print. Um, and I have a tutorial. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested. But redone font is honestly, in my opinion, easy to just write out on your own free handed so that's what I did and so once I had the pencil outline done I went ahead and went over it with a black marker I wrote hip hop and honey bunny on all three of them so now I'm taking this yarn craft kit and I'm gonna be using the ears in this I decided to use the little pom-poms that are in there to kind of dummy up the bottom of my um, planters then I took the ears now there's pink little ears that go over the white ears but for this I'm just going to be using the pink pieces as if they were their own ears so all you have to do is just push the little ears out of the felt pieces I then went ahead and glued the ears to the inside back part of the planters so two of the planters had white ears and then one of them had pink ears for the bunny's bodies I am going to be using the pom-pom pieces from these magnetic hooks so the two white ones are the magnet oh, sorry I can't talk magnetic hooks and then the pink one you see is actually from a keychain Dollar Tree carries keychains all the time they have those puffy little pom-poms so all I do is I just stick them inside of the planters and then 
I called it a day after this. It's super cute. I do want to say I saw Sheik on the Cheap do something similar to this. Where it was like bunnies inside of a planter. Except hers had feet and it was really cute. So I'll make sure to link that down below for you guys. So you can check hers out. Like I said, her bunnies had feet. Really cute. Okay, this next DIY is just kind of dumb. But it's so easy and it's cute as well. Dollar Tree carries these little eggs. And there is a white egg inside of these packs. So what I'm doing is I'm removing all of the colorful eggs from the pack as well as the little piece of straw that's over the carton and then i just took white eggs from other cartons and i stuck them all inside of this so i just had nothing but white eggs and it's just cute like it looks really really cute it's easy to do now i will say this this is one of those instances where it's like okay well i could go to a craft store and get all white eggs for a cheaper price you could go ahead and do that i'm just using dollar tree products but remember you can go somewhere else lots of times and save money going someplace else it's not always dollar tree that has the best bank for your buck i personally like it better with nothing but white eggs okay next yeah why you want to get a bowl from dollar tree i like the design of this bowl it's from dollar tree but it's from the brand plates and beyond and then i'm going to take a wooden bunny from dollar tree it comes in a six pack and i'm just painting it all white Next up, I'm going to use these wooden squares from Dollar Tree, and I take two of them, glue them together, and then glue that to the bottom of the bowl to create some height, and I do this two times. And then I take two more squares, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wedge the wooden bunny between those pieces so that the bunny could stand up and you kind of just see it popping out of the bowl. At this point, you can use whatever you want to cover the wooden squares. You can add some candy inside of there, jelly beans. I'm going to be using some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. I just add that to the bowl, use it to cover up the wooden squares. You can use their green moss instead if you want something different. Uh, I like the Spanish moss just because it matches my decor better. So I just added a burlap bow to the very top little corner of one of the ears and put some eggs in the bowl and called it a day. I feel like the bowl would look really cute with the Radon font if you have a Cricut. It's up to you if you want to do something like that. Next DIY, I am using this picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree. I removed the family sign. I actually used that family sign in a DIY I uploaded yesterday if you're interested. Anyhow, I went ahead and I painted the entire thing white. What I like about this frame is it has those indents inside of it that make it look like a real wood grain. So if I added too much paint to those indents, I took a screwdriver and I just like removed any paint because I wanted the black part inside of there to be showing. I like the way this looked better. Again, it has kind of like that ship lap look to it. Next up, I'm using this greenery. So basically, I got it from Hobby Lobby for $1.50, originally $2.99, and I'm using it to create a little wreath. And you find this stuff in the um, his and hers, I think that's what it's called, section where it has like wedding stuff. Other craft stores carry this as well as Amazon. It's really inexpensive. So I used it to create a small little wreath that I am going to be attaching to the clip that's on that frame. Before I attach it, I took a little piece of burlap, also from Dollar tree and I attached it that way to the clip so the clip is actually holding the burlap and the burlap is holding the wreath next up I have these images from Dollar Tree and they have like these words that come off of them so faith happy and joy I have those three the faith one I took off of another picture I'm gonna be using the faith one I'm also gonna be using the bunny that is inside of this sign I just took a screwdriver and lifted the bunny off and I'm going to be attaching both of those things to the picture frame. So I have the little wreath, the part that says faith, and then there's a little bunny. Isn't this thing cute? It goes really well with my decor. If I do a shiplap theme, I'm definitely going to reuse this picture frame. You pick up a planner. I chose this one because it looks like the one I saw at Pier 1. Then you want to pick up something to be the base of the tree. Dollar Tree does carry cones like this. I was looking for the bigger ones in the auto section. They didn't have them. So instead, I'm using the styrofoam cone I got at Hobby Lobby for around $3. I know it's not a Dollar Tree product, but at the end of the day, to get what I really want, Wanted, I was going to have to spend more money at Dollar Tree to make that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my cone and I'm placing it inside of the planter. If you're using the little cones from Dollar Tree, you can do the same thing. 
You can even use like the poster board and roll it around to create something similar. Now the next step I'm doing is taking some ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. It's like a burlap ribbon and I'm gluing it around my cone. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that the white under the cone doesn't show through the tree at all. And if I miss some spots where I didn't put moss and I didn't put an egg, that white isn't going to show and it's not gonna look funny. If you end up using the orange cones from Dollar Tree, you would do the same thing. That way, again, if there's any spots you missed, the orange doesn't show through and it looks kind of funny. Just wrap that ribbon all around. There's gonna be parts that are not completely glued down, so you could take your glue gun and try to hold it in place. I used a popsicle stick to kind of smear the glue around. I didn't really wanna use my finger, it was gonna burn. So I used a popsicle stick to smear the glue around and just make sure that the ribbon was, most of the ribbon, was as close to the styrofoam as I could get it. Now after that, I weigh it all down by adding some of the stones from Dollar Tree to make sure that styrofoam stays in place. Now I'm taking these eggs from Dollar Tree and I am gluing them to the topiary. I use hot glue, but I have to hold each egg in place until the hot glue dries. Otherwise, it's going to start falling off each egg. So just hold it in place. doesn't take too long and then move on to the next egg. I used about four containers. I did not use every single egg that I got from the four containers. I was mainly trying to use purple, pink, the green and the blue one. And as I get closer and closer to the top, I add less and less eggs. Now I start to glue down some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. This moss is much more easy to work with than their reindeer moss and floral moss because it just, I don't, it doesn't fall apart as easily. So I take my hot glue, place the moss down. Some of the time I had to cut the moss down to fit certain sections. And this is where you can tell that putting that ribbon down really comes in handy because if that would have been just white under there, you would see it through the moss and it would just look funny. I was trying to mimic what I saw in the Pier 1 topiary, so now I'm just taking a willow wreath from Dollar Tree, one of the smaller ones, and just breaking off branches and I glue a few of them around the topiary. Next up, I take some greenery from Dollar Tree and I go ahead and attach them from the main stem they are on, cut them down a bit, and then I just glue them all around the tree where I see fit. The finishing touches I did was add some ribbon around the bottom of the planter. I just thought it needed it. And then I added some purple flowers to this topiary. I thought I recorded myself gluing on the flowers. I did not. But I'm telling you, I glued on some purple flowers. So that is it for this DIY. I love this one. So this next DIY, I'm recycling part of it from a DIY I just actually uploaded. It's a Dollar Tree kitchen decor video. So I got a Lazy Susan from Dollar Tree. And I'm also using a pie pan from Dollar Tree that I had painted all white. And let me rephrase that. It was the cake pan, not the pie pan. The um, cake pan is smaller than the pie pan. So then I ended up taking this burlap ribbon after I painted the pan white and I just glued it around the edges of my pan as well as the edges of the Lazy Susan. I then added some nautical rope around the top of the Lazy Susan that was still showing and then the very top of the cake pan. So that was actually like I said a DIY for a kitchen video and I'm just reusing it for this DIY. So that's the part I'm reusing from another DIY. Next up, I got this galvanized little planter from Dollar Tree. They have two different ones, one that is taller and then one that is wider. I'm using the wider one and I'm just gluing nautical rope around that and the bottom portion of it because the top of it has twine and then right under the top of it where it's the galvanized metal, I added the nautical rope. Next up, I am going to be taking some candle holders from Dollar Tree, two of the glass ones, and I glue them together. And then I take those and I glue it to the center of the cake pan, and then I attach that bucket to the top of the um, very top candle holder. I used hot glue. I don't recommend using hot glue. I recommend using a heavy duty glue like Gorilla Glue, E6000, Super Glue, but I'm avoiding those things for the time being because of the smell of them. So I'm just using a hot glue gun instead. To decorate the bottom of this, I did use Dollar Tree products. I used their Spanish moss, their twine carrots, and then some of their eggs. You can honestly decorate this however you like. At the top, I put an Ikea plant 
honestly entirely up to you. You don't even have to use two candle holders. You can use just one or not even do it like a tray. You could just do the bottom or you could just do the top. So that is it for these Easter DIYs. Definitely the last Easter DIY video I upload for this year because my dumb butt thought Easter was still like three weeks away. Don't know why I was thinking that, but when you're locked up inside, you're not really paying attention to dates anymore. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.